Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about extending native HTML elements with Polymer. So here on the left I've got a basic HTML page with platform and Polymer loaded up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a button on the screen and it's just going to say hello world. Now what I want to do is extend all buttons and the way I'm going to do that uh, is we're going to need to create a Polymer element for that. Uh, but the way that we instantiate that or make our button uh, extended is with is. So is, and I'm just going to call it X button. So that's what I'm going to end up calling my component. Uh, let's get our HTML import here and I'm just going to call it X button dot HTML. So let's go ahead and create that here in our component directory. Okay. So of course we're going to call it X button and here Right here in the Polymer element, we're going to add an additional attribute called extends. And then we just tell it the element that we want to extend. So I'm going to say button. And what are we going to do here? Uh, I'm going to give it an on click of clicky. So that's going to be a function that I'm going to have. Now here in the template, all we need to do is drop in content. Uh, so content works a lot like uh, maybe in Angular. They call it transclusion. Uh, in React, it's this props children. Whatever you call it in whatever framework you're used to, this basically just says, you know, let the content or the children of this item flow on through. Don't worry about that. Uh, so here in our button, I'm going to create my little clicky function. And we're just going to... Let's just, we're just going to reverse the, uh, the content, the inner HTML. So we'll say this dot inner HTML equals this dot inner HTML dot split dot reverse and dot join. Okay. I think that looks all right. Let's jump back to our HTML page really quick. Everything's looking good here. Let's try this out. There's our button. Let's zoom this way in. And when we click, it's reversing that inner HTML. So we have extended the button element in uh, native HTML using Polymer. Uh, so there you go. That's a quick look at how to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.